Okay, I'm just making a video to show everybody what some of the updates of the house are. I don't know, I know some of you have seen it at different times. We uh, got the outside painted about two months ago, a month and a half ago now. Uh, it's uh, some olive and some brown there. We also restained the shingles that are up at the top, which I'm centering in the camera now. We kind of made them a little bit more brown with this little coating there. And uh, we finished contouring all the land. It's just flat. We uh, haven't planted grass yet. We'll be planting field grass in a lot of it. Uh, someone let us know the other day that our pond was heart shaped, which you just realized, but it's drying up now, but uh, it's been an icy cold heart uh, the last week because we had freezing temperatures. And a lot of the work, which you may or may not remember, depending on how often you've been here, is we had a huge mountain of land where I'm pointing the camera and it's now gone. It's all graded and flat. Well, where I'm pointing right here, which as you can see is really close to the house, is where we're going to put our garden once we get that done. This is the mud room in here, which we've pretty much finished up with a pedestal sink and Craig got a lovely washer and dryer. It was purple, which looked not so great with this floor. So we matched some colors in the floor to create this color. And this is the bathroom. The shower is installed. Uh, Craig can use indoor plumbing now. It's really fantastic. Uh, we won't go upstairs because we haven't done much up there yet, but Craig hasn't, but um, these are really nice built stairs that he got put in there. And uh, it was like, this is the wood flooring. It's, uh, Craig says it's a type of mahogany called tiger wood. And hopefully as you can see here, it went in really beautifully. It's just, uh, we had a guy, uh, Adrian come who helped put it in. He did a fantastic job. And he worked very hard because he was motivated to be off for Thanksgiving. And uh, this is a fireplace that we've had this wonderful gentleman named Eddie build. And it goes all the way up with this uh, stonework here. It's actually concrete, but it looks as close as stone as you can possibly get. And Craig's design and purpose was that it would blend in with the outside. And as you can see through these doors there, we have that same kind of stone on the walls outside there so that the great room would look like, a, or the patio would look like an extension of the great room. And uh, you can perhaps see that land in the back. That's what Craig worked really hard on that cat to kind of grade and make right so it passes inspection there. One thing that I think is kind of cool is uh, Craig is uh, finishing designing right now. I was gonna go down below, below the fireplace, but this is a piece of black walnut that Craig actually pulled from the property and uh, we haven't put a glaze over it or anything yet, but it's just really, really beautiful. And it goes up on that fireplace. And uh, spinning you ground the great room. This is a window, the front window, which we uh, see a lot of those elk from. But we have the uh, kitchen pretty much functional and done, except for just a few cosmetic touch-up things. Uh, Craig was able to find a great deal where he is able to put this uh, fantastic granite in for cheaper than a lot of materials that normally are cheaper than granite. He got it even cheaper than those. Uh, we really got a great deal. It helps uh, that he was buying some pretty big pieces. It's pretty much seamless. There's only a couple of seams and you have to really look hard to get them. This uh, cabinetry that's put in is just uh, super fantastic in my opinion. Uh, we got the double ovens and a uh, fridge in here. One thing that I think is really neat about what Craig did is when he got these built, it had these drawers have that automatic, they close by themselves thing going on, which is uh, just really, really, really nice. And Lincoln, I wish he was here, I'd show you, loves to play hide and seek in the closets. He is not afraid of the dark at all. And uh, he will play in that for an hour, uh, much to our delight. This is the little uh, nook, the dining nook off the uh, room and it's completely done now. We got the wood floor in. We have a view of outside from there. And you can see all that. And we're just gonna come on down over here to the wing where Lincoln is going to have his bedroom. I'm gonna turn some lights on in here. His room is pretty much done. Uh, this is his uh, 
padding to go on top of his uh, mattress that uh, grandma and grandpa fault got him here that's uh, waiting in his room for everything else to come and uh, this will be his room and he has a view of outside there and that is that and this is my paint pile because we're repainting Craig's master bedroom and this bedroom you can see I had some paint swaths there we're gonna choose a green one it's a light blue now we decided to change that because we wanted the colors to blend in more with outside because it's so foresty and nature -y. we thought that would be a better fit and so we're gonna do that Craig is working on those closet things we like went and shot them out you can spend a fortune on your closet and what Craig did is this guy gave him a great idea and Craig's gonna just self construct a really nice closet setup and Eddie is still who did that stonework on the fireplaces he's doing all the tile work in the bathrooms too uh, these are our tiles and he's got the shower tiled but uh, we're still finishing up that he's gonna put a grout in between but we still need about seven more tiles to fit into our floor and we have the double uh, thing uh, Craig found a piece of material that we're gonna put there but that's a video update and we love you everybody especially our family and uh, we'll probably uh, hopefully a lot of you will get to come and visit when we're done but uh, we'll do another video when we're all done of some neat stuff so thank you just pieces of plywood before and we had this kind of master craftsman guy come in and these things are gonna probably be squeak proof all their days